All right. Looks like we traveled to the East Coast. <laughs> um, we're gonna go out, my little sister and I, she's getting ready. We're gonna go out and see how my Model 3 dual motor, non-performance, bald tires, 39,000 miles worth of tires, how it does in the snow. So let's go. This is my little sister, by the way. <laughs> All right, so we are in what's called Weldon, California. Yep. Uh, this is where my parents live and Isabel lives. Um, it's at about 27 and change square feet. Typically we don't get snow like this. As long as I've been alive, there hasn't been snow on Thanksgiving. So yeah. pretty cool. <laughs> it's supposed to rain later, so it might all go away, but Let's enjoy it while it's here, right? Pretty epic. And here's Toothless. Hey, buddy. Don't mind all the background stuff. <laughs> and no, I'm not towing a quad with my car. Just went into action pretty quick before I could get the camera rolling. There's Isabel. It's so the snow pretty much everywhere. And we're gonna see what happens when you put this thing to drive. So far it feels pretty smooth. Granted, this is like two inches of snow. But, you know, I've driven in snow before and it's, this is very, <laughs> very smooth. So for all my California people, have no fear, it's pretty freaking smooth. So you're going 12, 13, 14 miles an hour. Granted, this is a dirt road under this, so it's not, I don't know if that makes any difference really. Um, but it's definitely dumping snow outside and it seems like it's doing okay. Got some potholes here. Yeah. Losing the, the tail end a little bit, but all in all, I mean, I can probably. Oh, there we go. We can get it sideways a little bit. 25. It's really, really surprisingly good, even with my tires that are 39,000. I have the 19 inch tires too, so it's, it's not like they're. Uh, uh, it's not like they're, I didn't think I'd get this much life out of them. So now we're on the actual road and now I can feel it a little, slipping a little bit more. Um, but it's still doing good. Going 22 miles an hour. I mean, we're going uphill right now. Don't need any chains. The regen is obviously a really good thing to have when you're in snow because you're not pressing on your brakes. But here we go. Yeah, it's doing great, honestly. I don't have many issues. I feel like if I needed to get somewhere and it's snowing heavily, um, I know this isn't like East Coast snow. It doesn't snow as much as it would over there. But this is pretty significant, regardless. I mean, I still have a ton of snow on my... And then Isabel is right there. I mean, I would say we're doing good. 24 miles an hour. So I've been driving for, I don't know, maybe a couple miles now. And we're going 30 miles an hour plus. It's probably two to three inches of snow, fresh snow on the ground. Um, again, 39,000 plus miles worth of 19 inch tires. My tread's down pretty low. I, should, I know I'm gonna change it, but um, I'm super, super, super surprised. And my sister keeps hearing it. <laughs> but I'm really surprised at how well it's doing. It's this is the ultimate car. 
I don't understand why people do not have a Tesla. It's kind of absurd. But I'm gonna we're gonna stop right now, take some videos of the car, take a little photo op, and well, you okay? There's Toothless. There's our tracks. Probably go in them. Wouldn't make a big difference. Man. You know better. Pushing the envelope. We're doing fine. Going around a little turn here. Almost 40 miles an hour. But is that on the inside? No, on the outside. Yeah. I, I've had a lot of experience driving the snow before, but. It's uh, it's really phenomenal how good it feels. So we're coming up to a turn right here. I'm gonna press the envelope a little bit. Not too hard, but yeah. Lost a tiny bit of traction on the rear end, but it's ridiculous. So that's the video for today. Uh, I do want to do more. I've been trying to do more. I just, you know, we all lead busy lives. And um, I think this is what inspires me to do a channel and to kind of help educate and, and just give real world experiences and show you what you know, where Tesla marks a spot for me. And hopefully I wanna know, you know, hopefully you guys can share with me where Tesla marks a spot for you. Not only ge geologically, you know, on, geologically, what is that? Uh, on a map? Yeah, no, that's the earth. Yeah, it's whether it be a specific place that you're going to or what it means to you in your heart. For me, I'm always, lo I love traveling. I love going to different places where you can find nature and find serenity and really just enjoy the beautiful aspects of our earth uh, and our, well, I guess for me, our country at the moment, um, anywhere I can drive to. But then again, in my heart, you know, I, that's why I bought a Tesla because it's a step in the right direction. You know, I've gone 40,000 miles almost with no fossil fuels and, and I'm sure more than 80% of that being autonomous driving. And it's just absurd. It's, it's the future and we all need to do our part and, and it just makes sense to have one. So I love the company. I love Elon. I love the mission. And I love m most of all our planet and this beautiful phenomenon of 
serendipitous occurrences. <laughs> I guess it's the best way to explain it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to you later. Do you love the snow? Yes, you love the snow.